How's it? Today is Monday, May 1st, and I am doing a lot of powers today. I am doing 20 sets, essentially, 20 triples, only, only about 10 of them, maybe 12 of them are challenging, and then for sure 6 of them are very challenging. Basically, I do have 3 top sets for both my power snatch and uh, power clean and power jerk. And these are all these are all triples. Well, triples for power snatch and then two plus ones for my power clean and power jerk, which is essentially a triple if you think about like total reps in general. Which is kind of how I look at them. I don't know. I think today's snatches were were pretty good. Um uh, I cleans were not I didn't hit a single set correctly I didn't do the double I wasn't able to do the double I tried my best on all of them some of them if you pause the video you can see that I get the bar high enough I'm just not in a position to reliably catch it and that was a bit frustrating I think I'm plenty strong to do it. I don't know if it's like my upper body being a little bit more sore, or sorry, not sore, more tired, or oh, I don't know what it is. But if I'm able to get the bar high enough, if I'm able to be in the position to catch the bar, um, I should be able to do it. And that just was not the case today. For today, these snatches, I was thinking about something a little bit different than I was last week. So last week, my goal was to keep my arms as long as possible. That was not what I wanted to do today. I mean, I think that that is a good way to think about the snatches. But for me today, I'm literally just trying to get to fixation after extension as quickly as possible. So that might look like I'm pulling a little bit early in some cases, but I don't think that it really manifested in that way especially at the top sets. I do think my sets at 80 today were pretty good. 80 is typically a weight that I struggle a little bit at. I don't think that it's something that I can't power snatch. I think that 80 for triples today was, um, I don't know, I don't wanna say RPE, but it, it didn't give me any worry on on really completing the sets. And then I was just trying to go as quickly as I could just because this is like actually 20 total sets, you know. This is the first time in a long time where Steve actually wrote out my warm-up weights. So, you know, 40, 40, 50, 50, 60, 70, 80, or 75, 80, 80, 80. I think that's 10, something like that. Here's my last non-top weight set. 75 was the weight that I did last week. And yeah, I'm just going up 5 kilos, which in the grand scheme of things is quite a bit. But I was okay with it. There was one rep that was definitely not a power snatch. But for the most part, these are pretty solid. I think... I probably could still have my arms as long as possible for a little bit longer. And I do think that if I extend a little bit more upwards with my upper body and not just my hips, I think that my overall power snatch would be a little bit cleaner, a little bit more precise. But I think these are fine as they are. Uh, this is the one that I ended up doing a full snatch at. This last one right here. For what it's worth, that was a pretty easy full snatch. 80 is not really heavy, but still. But, yeah, so if I think about this here, I think yeah, there's a lot of things I could fix and I could improve on, but for what it's worth, for what today was, kind of just try my best to get through it, especially that third rep here just because my last set was the full snatch. I was pretty happy with that. My elbow, my left elbow did kind of bend 
and rebend. I don't know if you can see it from that angle. But I did come back and redo that one rep because it was only one rep, and I was like, right, yeah, I can, I can kind of just, I can fix that for sure. After that, I moved into my power clean, power jerk stuff, two plus ones again. And we're going to 110. 110 is a weight that I know I can power clean, but it is hard, like for sure, like beyond beyond any amount of like doubt, that is a difficult weight for me. And you'll see the move, the the moves, the weight does move pretty well, but I just am a little bit slower. I'm a little bit lagging on a lot of extension uh, aspects. I think for the warm-ups, I'm not super sure what I'm looking for on my cleans. They kind of were all over the place. I am trying to start with my chest a little bit further over the bar and keep my arms a little bit more engaged. That is, however, extremely difficult. Uh, you can see here at 80, I'm not super happy with that. 90 looks better. Getting to that second rep is, for whatever reason, is a little bit challenging always, no matter how light the weight is. That's 90. Going to 100 next. So I, again, I'm just trying to keep my, my chest a little bit further over the bar at the start. But it's it's not looking the best, especially looking from the side angle. I'm doing two things to try and keep it over the, my chest further over the bar. I'm trying to curl my wrists a little bit more at the beginning, push my chest out over, and then um, I guess push my chest out over is the second thing. But furthermore, I'm trying to keep my chest over a like big chest after I lift off off the ground. This is my last warm up set here quote-unquote warm-up this is 105 this is the weight that I did last week similar to my power snatches last week it's just five kilos down from today's goal weight and last week I was struggling with the power clean so going up one uh, going up five kilos is it is what it is I was trying my best I think in a perfect world if I execute on all of these I do think I can actually do them like if you look at these power cleans here they're a little bit slow off of the hip and a little bit slow at receiving, but I do get a lot of height. So that kind of bodes well if I'm trying to actually hit a, a good power clean. Yeah, but you see that. Extension was good. I was just way too behind the bar to make it actually work. And then these power jerks are just... Power jerks are, are, are easy. I am just really frustrated at the top here. So power clean a little bit better than the first one and then another full clean they're just all full cleans and at this point it is what it is I wasn't gonna go back and redo three like cleans that were not power cleans like you know how I, I, re, I redid that uh, power snatch at 80 so I wasn't gonna do that for the power cleans there's just no way I was pretty tired. Um, yeah, here's my last one. Yeah, power's still there. And then again, I know I sound like a broken record. We're just repeating myself over and over. Um, uh, you can see there, I bent my arms a little bit early. Pulling on my arms has just been a lot of created a lot of issues for me as far as tempo, timing, and position goes. That was a pretty strong um, lockout position on my jerk. A little bit forward, but it is what it is. Finished off with my snatch RDLs here. For these, I am just trying to really, really, really force that position of chest over the bar and keep my, my lats kind of, what, depressed? My shoulder blades depressed, so pushing my shoulder blades down closer to my hips rather than pulling them up. I don't know what's going to happen. I think that that is the ideal position for me to start at. And if I can practice it 
in any occasion, even considering deadlifts, you know, the sumo deadlift, I think that it would be helpful moving forward. But finished off the day with my two classic movements for accessories, the pull-up 312s and the GHD sit-up 315s. Yeah, not much else to say about today. I don't think I can do the power triples next week uh, if I'm increasing by another 5 kilos. Maybe I might feel differently in, at the end of this week, but given how today went, that is not something I expect of myself. So just note to self, be nice to yourself. Be nice to me. Whatever. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Shoots.